and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where uh, we usually drink what they don't know, but tonight we're doing a pop the top. Uh, and uh, last episode we did the um, the bourbon finish barrel finished. It was amazing. And so if you haven't gone and seen that one, uh, pause this, go click on the other one because this bottle was absolutely awesome. And uh, what's tonight's? Tonight is the or this afternoon eighteen sixteen. Chattanooga whiskey, cask strength, uh, non-chill filtered, sorry, unfiltered barrel proof. So they don't even non-chill filter. It's just not filtered. It's they Sounds probably like run, they probably run it through like a really uh, light mess strainer, Stiff. like a mess strainer, just to get the the barrel chunks out of it. Um, sometimes unfiltered bourbon, you will get little pieces of barrel floating in your your bottle. Totally normal. Um, you just as a whiskey nerd, you got to dig it. Ready? Sure. Let's, uh, Let's grab us get. a pour. So I got oak the first time I smelt it, but after setting it down, um, I get a lot of vanilla. Vanilla, caramel, for sure. Oak. Good bit of oak. Yeah. I was some expecting. Oak. Maybe it's because you, you know, your whole I was spiel about, about unfiltered. unfiltered and the oak pieces and the. I Start get oak. to put it in your brain. There's something else there. She got barrel on the brain. Lock, shock, and barrel. I'm gonna get like a little bit of citrus in there. I don't know. You gonna drink yeah. it? Cheers. It smells good. We'll go with that. Mmm. Definitely tasting the citrus. Wow. It's there's, complex. There's a lot going on in there. Cherries, caramel, creme brulee. Creme brulee, I definitely would go with that. Um, a lot of dark, dark notes, which I absolutely love. Funny, you get dark notes and I get oranges. <laughs> but like a creme brulee... With like a, a hint of citrus. And that caramelized sugar and... Creamy. Yeah. When I think cream away, you got to get the cream and the custardy yumminess. And, but definitely, if you don't have the caramel on it, on the top, you don't have cream away. So, yeah. I think you hit that one on the head. It's like that, that caramelized sugar on top of cream away. Yeah, I'm not getting dark fruits. I'm getting all citrus. Dark fruits, dark caramel, dark cherries uh, creamy. almost. Just dark everything. Our taste palettes are not the same, if you haven't figured that one out. Um, this is a really good bottle, oh, and so it has a the lot. The question is, do you like it? Oh, yeah. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. But I'm getting, like, a creamy, vanilla-y, citrusy, uh, caramel-y, uh, yeah. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, a lot of people hunt... You know, uh, really sought after bourbons, a lot of MGP stuff. Um, so now we have to open this saying. next week. Maybe. We'll see. Because, like, these two are amazing. Like, this one, I was like, oh, how are we going to beat this from last week? And I may end up drinking the whole bottle. Um, but the, I, with 183 bottles open, I don't always gravitate towards ones that I don't know. But this may... 184. With so many bottles that we have, I may be gravitating to more towards the Chattanooga whiskey. Uh, I were, don't search it out when we look in the... In the cabinet? I yeah. mean, they're, they're putting out some really super awesome stuff. So if you're curious on what batch this one is, because um, this is just cast strength, small batch bourbon. This is the 18E11. Is that 113 proof? 113.6. But this is amazing. I mean, we're both getting different flavors but i Both would phenomenal. not be sad to drink this all day long not at all chattanooga whiskey you guys freaking keep it up appreciate you guys and all of our patreon members and everyone watching this channel we appreciate you make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that bell notification just like that little thing just told you to and uh, until friday next week noon central cheers drink blind always drink